Hey YouTube, welcome to another advanced uh, series uh, lesson. All right, so today we're going to be titling this um, "Fun with Paradiddles." All right, so and what we're going to be doing uh, is playing paradiddles as triplets. Okay, using paradiddles uh, as triplets. Most of us have uh, you know played paradiddles as sixteenths, um, maybe thirty seconds, but maybe we haven't necessarily tried to play them as triplets uh, very often. So that's what I want to talk about. So um, before we get into it, we all know that um, the triplet, or I'm not a triplet, but paradiddles are right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Okay, with that accent on that on that first right, and then the accent on that left. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Okay. So what I would do first before you get into this is is turn on your metronome uh, and try to play paradiddles as eighth note triplets and time to it, okay? So what I'm gonna do for you first is I'm just gonna play it on the hi-hat uh, and I'm gonna count uh, so you can hear that and then uh, we'll move forward, okay? Let's try that. Okay, so I would spend definitely spend some time doing that just so you can feel it. Okay, uh, especially if you haven't haven't done this before. Okay, so from here let's let's take the triplet, uh, let's or take the paradiddle, uh, and let's let's see what we can do with it. Okay, so the first example we're going to do is just taking um, a basic paradiddle that we might play as a groove, as a sixteenth note groove, where the right hand is playing, uh, or with the right foot rather is playing with the right hand. Okay, so let me play that just so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're going to take that. Okay, most of us have probably done that before. And now let's play it as triplets, eighth note triplets. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, so uh, so there you go. So that's playing that as eighth note triplets, and that's definitely you know pretty weird sounding, right? And uh, and it's definitely difficult, um, you know, keeping the the left foot going with it for sure. You know, playing the quarter note. So um, so that's a good idea to start with. Okay, and that can sound really cool. And again, practice it to a metronome. Okay, so now let's try it. Uh, you know, using the, the 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 drums a little bit. Okay, so now let's do a simple figure where we put the accent on the tom. Okay, right hand accent on the tom, left hand accent on the, uh, the small tom, and the rest of the notes on the snare drum. Okay, let's see what that sounds like.
Okay, so there you go. So once you can do those two ideas, uh, then you, you have a great foundation, okay? Uh, and that's, and I would really just would practice those two to start off with, just to get, just to get comfortable. Um, now from there, this is where things can really start to get really interesting, okay? Uh, so now, now of course you could, you could take the, the basic pair that we just did and maybe move the accents around some. Uh, you definitely can do that. Uh, but what I like to do is um, is to start getting into you know shifting the accents on the paradiddle to other places. Okay, so instead of just doing right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, I like to put I like to add some accents and move accents to other places. Okay, so what I'm going to do uh, before we try this as triplets is I'm just going to play a couple of uh, paradiddle accent variations for you, okay? And a lot of these you, know, you might already be familiar with, okay? So I'm not necessarily going to break them down so much since this is a, an advanced uh, series video. So I'm, I'm expecting that most people already know a lot of this stuff, okay? But I'm going to play a few um, just accent variations of the paradiddle. I'm still playing right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. I'm just shifting the accents around, okay? Let's try it. I'll do this as 16th notes first so you can hear that and then we'll do it as triplets. Okay, so what I did there is just play again. I'm playing paradiddles. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And I'm just adding in different accents. That's it, okay? Um, so from there, the idea is to take those different um, accented variations and play them as triplets, okay? So uh, what I want to do is now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to play through each of those, var those accented variations uh, as triplets. I'll do each one like a couple of times just so you can hear that. Okay, let's try it.
Woo. <laughs> okay, so uh, so I, what I tried to start doing was I tried to do each of the, the main um, accent variations that I do. I start off just trying to do each one a couple of times, and then I just start to mix them. And that's really the goal. The goal is to just start mixing them. Um, I try to keep my hi hat flake going on quarter notes the whole time, and I'm I'm pretty sure I kept that pretty pretty solid. I I'm, I may have you know um, <laughs> I may have goofed it up a little bit. I don't know, um, but I try to keep that going for you. And that's where it really sounds pretty pretty chaotic and wild is when you hear uh, these ideas against the quarter note. Okay, that's when you're just like whoa. Okay, uh, I was trying to incorporate symbols and just different orchestrations, um, but uh, that's the idea. The idea is to take some of the, uh, is just to be able to add accents randomly while keeping the paradiddle going. That's the goal while playing it as triplets. That's that's your destination uh, with this. Okay, so again, what I would do first, okay, is start off how we did, and then I would take each of those accented variations. Okay and I would just practice it on its own, okay, as triplets until you get really comfortable with it, okay, practice each one and hopefully by the time you do that you'll be at a point where you can just since you've practiced all these variations you'll be comfortable shifting the accent around as you please, okay, um, and when you do that and when you work on the, the changing of the accents because as many of you might have never played a paradiddle uh, with accents in a different spot other than how it's written on the 40 rudiments. Okay, so if that's the case, I'd probably do this as 16th notes as opposed to trying to do it as triplets. Okay, do it as 16th notes first, get comfortable with, uh, with moving the accent to, to different places. Once you can do that, then try to do it as triplets. That's, that's my re recommendation. Okay, now um, again, with, this is an advanced video, so I'm, I, I haven't necessarily broken down all those pieces for you, uh, but I definitely can. If, if, if you guys watch this and you have a lot of difficulty with it and, and need me maybe to kind of do each of these accent variations and break those down further, I definitely can do that. Just leave me a comment and I'll definitely um, do that, okay? So just, just let me know, because it can be pretty difficult, okay? But that's, um, that is paradiddles uh, as triplets, okay, with revolving, changing accents. So I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. All right, take care.